Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to import a VMware ESXi virtual machine to Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I am on my ESXi server which has actually different uh, virtual machines and I will try actually to import a virtual machine let's take for example this Ubuntu PyHole server into our Proxmox okay so in order to do this migration actually you have uh, for better performance that your machine to be powered off and also make sure it doesn't have any VMware tools or encryption okay so here as you can see my Ubuntu machine is turned off so I'll try to import it to my Proxmox so if I go to my Proxmox server the first thing that you have to make sure of is that you have actually the version of your PVE manager 8.1.8 at least so you have to make sure that you have updated your Proxmox to this version or at least to version 8 that one that eight so here I'm using version 8.2 so I don't have any problem but in case you want to update your Proxmox server it's pretty easy you have to click on your node here and go to repositories and make sure that you have enabled these two most important repositories which are the PVE no subscription and also the no subscription repository okay so after that it's just a couple of refresh and upgrade okay and then you will get the latest version okay so as I told you me I have no problem because I am using version 8.2.4 okay as you can see here okay so the first thing that we have to do is to add the ESXi storage so the first thing that we're gonna do actually is to click on our data center here and go to the storage okay and if you click on the add button you will see that we have new menu dedicated specially to ESXi as you can see here so we have to click on this ESXi and we have to fill in the different fields okay so here for the ID you can make whatever you want so for example let's just input ESXi okay and here of course you have to provide the IP address of your server so for me it was or it is 192.168.1.203 and of course here you have to provide the credentials corresponding to your server here we go and also one important thing here if you are using self signed certificate you have to skip certificate verification okay so so far so good so all I have to do is to click on this add so let's click on this add button and hopefully we'll get our storage here we go so as you can see here the e SXI storage has been added as you can see here and if we go to the left and just at the bottom you can see that indeed we have our storage here so we can click on it and here we can see all the different VMware virtual machine that are listed okay so from now the process is pretty easy so in order to import a virtual machine all we have to do is to click on it so here as I told you I'll be importing the Ubuntu machine so I will click on it and I will hit this import button okay here we go so here we have this wizard that will actually allow us to import the virtual machine so here we have the virtual ID so 158 we have the number of sockets, the number of cores, how much memory that we will be actually using and we actually keep the default here ok 
okay so I will leave everything as it is but I can change whatever I want for example the CPU type I will just use host okay and for the total cores they are two Linux here also I can change the default bridge so I'll be using for my VMPR0 which is the default one for Proxbox and also if you go to the advanced tab you can see the different characteristics of the disk here I have uh, 12 gigabytes for the CD DVD will be not using it I have also for the network interface okay and the resulting config will actually list us the summary all that we have actually want to import and finally we hit this import button okay so now the process will begin to import the virtual machine into our proxbox and if you see on the left you can see that our virtual machine which has an id 158 is being created okay and now we have the progress of the process so all that we have to do now is to wait till the process will finish so now you can see the process is actually finished so we have successfully imported our VM into our Proxbox so let me get rid of this uh, window here and here we go you can see that our Ubuntu pie hole has been imported to our list of Proxmox virtual machine so I can just click on it here we go and let's just start it and see if indeed we can log in so I will uh, just click on this uh, start button here and go actually to the console to see what's going on and hopefully the process will begin so you can see the different services are actually starting okay so we get our prompt so we can enter our credential as usual so now we can enter our credentials so hopefully I'm not entering the correct password here here we go as you can see I am in and indeed I am on my Ubuntu server so as you can see the process was actually pretty easy pretty simple using the wizard provided by Proxmox so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future contents and of course if you have any suggestions for future videos drop them in the comments below so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.